this is actually a pretty complex video and there's a lot of things going on. This is a training that Ed and I did in Chicago with Permaseal. And what they're doing is they're tying the insofast system into a moisture drainage system that if water were ever to come through the wall, it would drain down below and into the French drain that they have chiseled out the floor in order to install. Right above the insofast is pre-installed electrical conduit as per code in the Chicago. So the first thing we're doing is installing a four inch trim piece that interfaces with the concrete below the concrete slab to take any moisture away. We're setting a level line it together and evening it out with the stones as you see here. Here's Ed, he's cutting out for an electrical box as you see coming down from the, in the corner and he's getting it to fit into place. So he pressed the foam up against the wall to get a rough fit and then he cut it out. Here is another section where he's marked in red where the electric box will go and unfortunately it's ending on a stud. So we had to cut the stud in half using a jigsaw in order to cut out this box. Ed pops it out, gets the foam dust off, takes it over to the electrical outlet and you see there's a run that's coming straight down. There's a horizontal rod. Now Ed is tapping the foam. What he's doing is indenting it. You can see that dent along that line that'll mark with a red pen. And here's an area which we have to cut out. So we have a horizontal and a vertical strip. Cutting through the studs is nearly impossible with a hot knife, which we'll be using in this application. So Ed has to remove the polypropylene stud by nipping it out with a pair of wire nippers. And the T-section that takes it to the front face also has to be nipped out. You can see he popped that out and he's going down and removing all of the stud material. Now the hot knife is, well it's a hot knife. You depress the trigger, it starts to heat and melt away at the foam operating at about 700 degrees in temperature and it actually shrinks the foam as it cuts its way through. It leaves a very clean and elegant line with no bead dust at all and a real clean channel. I made Ed flip it around so we could see the hot knife cut through, pop out, and he pops out the piece of foam. Now Ed's going to go over and dry fit the panel to see if it fits to make sure we don't have to make any adjustment which is a wise thing to do because you don't want a whole bunch of sticky glue on the wall and on your hands if you don't have a proper fit. So it fits nice and comes back and now we glue up the panel. Now here we're gluing right along the rib surface of the stud. And that's what we want to do. The stud is the important thing to adhere. The foam itself is actually loose laid in between the attachment. The studs are what hold the drywall and all the finishing material in place. We're transferring the load of the finishes back to the concrete wall by interlocking the stud with this glue. Now the glue wraps around the dovetails that are built into the ribbed panels and and here's Dave now he's installing the panel getting it to fit tapping it in place adjusting it and he's done now the glue if you watch and notice right here below the electrical plug you'll see that the panel right around the stud when Dave taps it is kinda loose now the glue actually stretches and fills in that area and it will 
expand and dry hard and the next day there won't be any flex or that stud will be solidly locked into the wall. Again, this is a permaseal guy cutting out the stud, nipping the T piece, getting it nice and deep, and and again doing the vertical and the horizontal chaseways, and voila. Dry fit. It's nice, glue it up, we're ready to go. Thank you for watching.